Hey guys, Caleb Shockley, back again with another great After Effects tutorial. Um, so today, I'm going to be going over how to get a realistic camera movement slash shake in After Effects on a still uh, video. So uh, this is what, so I'm going to show you what we're going to be uh, making, kind of a general idea. Not the effect used in this video because this is an example of, of an effect video I've made. Uh, just focus on the camera shaking movement. So uh, there you have it. So that's kind of uh, a general idea of what we're going to be making. So uh, I'm going to go into this, go into this here, and I'm going to grab the video without effect, without the effect duplicate it uh, I'm gonna bring in a new composition here gotta figure out uh, okay uh, I'm just gonna make it a uh, 19 uh, 1920 by uh, 1080 and there we go now just whoops uh, Control V, and there we have it. There, here's my video. Here's the uh, video that I'm going to be using. I'm going to let this render out here real quick, so you can see what it looks like. So as you can see, I, I shot this on a tripod, so uh, it's completely still, steady, everything. But I want to make it feel more real, so I like to add camera movement and camera shake. And uh, I feel the easiest way to do that: uh, change the uh, size, so go to composition settings uh, I put these videos on Instagram so I put them at a 602 by 803 uh, ratio here it is and just scale it down some so that way you can get you have to keep it not all the way scaled down just enough to uh, just there Okay, so uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the uh, camera moving back and forth. So to do that, uh, you're going to change positions. I'm just going to find. So uh, I notice uh, because I've used uh, camera people before, which is normally my brother. And it's always a little bit slow if you're moving from one thing to another because they don't exactly know when to move. So... I try and use stuff like that to uh, help it seem more realistic so so for me I'm teleporting so I'm gonna find right here when I start to appear set hit this click the stopwatch move forward about a second move it over and there you have your first thing I'm okay, camera moving and it shows you whether or not you're going moving straight right here that's a good thing with keyframes. Then I'm going to move forward a little bit because um, if you noticed, uh, you may not have noticed, but my brother kind of walks out a little bit at the end of the video. So I'm going to go about here, set another keyframe, go to the end, and just move it all, just move it out to where you can see my brother a little bit, but you can also see me. So there's our. Uh, first little bit of camera so that's how you can get camera movement just adjust comp size and set position keyframes okay now to the uh, camera shake so what I use for uh, camera shake uh, I don't use my own thing uh, I downloaded this free After Effects preset on vfxbro.com and it's called real camera shake and there's eight different camera shakes that you can use it's totally free it's great I use it all the time and I love it so vfxbro.com real camera shake download it it's free so just take that drag it on and you can see all these different things that he's used and there's a motion tile which I don't like I don't like it because it makes it uh kind of duplicated and see there's mirror edges so I just turn that part off and then I have my camera shake I'm just gonna play it through and 
And there you go. That's how you can get a realistic camera movement slash shake in your After Effects videos. And you have to make sure that it's not scaled down all the way because otherwise you'll get this black up here, which isn't good. So um, that is how you get that, that you can get that realistic camera movement slash shake. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe uh, for more videos.